Today we're gonna to cover air compressors uh, attachment to the laser. So this is our air compressor. Uh, it's a Porter cable. It's 155 max PSI, 60 gallon, 3.7 horsepower, uh, fluctuate, function, functions at 90 PSI. Here, the on off, ours is hardwired into a switch on the inside of the shop. That way we can control it from in there so the stay, switch always stays on auto. You'll notice this one is an oiled model takes SAE 30, the motor. And then as we move over here, here are some of the connections that we have. So coming straight out, we have the regulator valve. Uh, this is a built-in water separator. This section right here is a pre-oiler. Uh, it's designed for more air tools. Uh, currently it's cleaned and empty. Uh, we don't run oil through the air lines. I come out here and I have a, a shutoff valve. This valve allows me to shut everything off from this point through the system in case I have to work on it instead of dealing with the air compressor and draining the tank and everything else. From here we move up, we've got half inch PEX. Uh, all the PEX connections are based on the half inch pipe. Uh, we have our air hose that we pull out for filling tires or spraying or whatever we need. The blue PEX then runs through this little shed into our big shed. Um, if you'll notice at the bottom of the air compressor, we have a water drain, so I don't have to crawl down there. I can just move it with my foot to drain the excess water from inside of the tank. All pressurized air tanks, as they heat up and compress the air, they produce water. This has to be drained every day. From here, we'll move inside to the and talk about the remaining system that goes to the laser. Okay, now we're inside of the shop. The air comes from outside in to here. We've got a 90 degree PEX corner. Following the half inch hose. Goes into our refrigerated air dryer. The on off switch for the air dryers up front. We can see the gauge as well. The air dryer does its thing. It dries the air. We don't have to worry about moisture in the lines getting to the lenses. From here it comes out and we've got it teed. The left hand tee goes to another water separator and regulator which controls a sprayer. That way we can clean off residue and anything else we may need. It also splits in and then it goes to an inline water separator, a desiccant dryer. Inside of this portion here is purple desiccant. Once it starts getting water or moisture inside of it, it turns pink. That way we know that there's moisture. Um, water will be trapped here before it gets to here, and we have the bleed off valve. As we follow the PEX hose around, We get to the far end. We'll come back to the middle here in a minute. I have another regulator and water separator with a one-way valve that hooks to the quarter inch air line that goes into the back of the laser. On this side, we have the connection where the quarter inch hose is connected into the system for the smaller laser. That regulator is based on this side of the machine so that we can easily access it. It has a one-way valve or a one-way shutoff valve, it, the regulator and another uh, water separator. From there, it goes from the quarter inch tubing to the back of the laser. <laughs> the way we have this set up is what works for us. It doesn't work for everybody. We are a very unique in the way that we have things set up. We have a small shop, a large air compressor, so it sits outside. We have to worry about condensation and moisture. Again, when it's outside, it's a hot Kentucky day. The moisture builds up out there. Once it gets in here, the air dryer takes care of the majority of it, and the redundancy is in the desiccant dryer. That catches the final stages of it. When it moves through the lines, just in case there's a little bit of heat, because this is an air conditioned area, we have the water separators and regulators based for the units.
or for the lasers. Again, this may not work for everybody. This is what works for us. But if you can piecemeal what we have or what we do to help with your smaller laser or larger laser or however your setup is, uh, we hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment, give us a call or an email. Thanks and have a great day.